This question is from Nelly. She's asking me, when did you realize that you were destined to be a performer and what has inspired you to keep doing it for so long? Uh, I think I realized I wanted to be a performer when I was four years old and I started to uh, perform for the first time in, 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 in my school, in, in my school plays, in, and I just fell in love with that sensation of being on stage. And by the time I was 10 years old, I knew that I wanted to be a professional singer. And I think what keeps me doing it is the fact that I don't consider myself good enough yet, and I still think that there's room for improvement, and there's many things to be said and many songs to be made. Wayne would like to know what inspired me to start my foundation, Pies Descalzos. Uh, well, having been born and brought up in a country like mine, I think uh, marked me um, in, in many ways and uh, living and being raised in a country where there's a, a, a social strife and there's so much injustice and, and there's so many people who have, who have not, nothing, literally. And it, it always made me believe that, that that's a reality that we can all change. And as soon as I had some resources, um, I, I put myself onto the task of uh, creating my own foundation and, and um, dedicating it exclusively to, towards education, the education of children, underprivileged children, children who are forgotten, who have been forgotten for, for, for many, many years, forgotten by our government, forgotten by the civil society, and just believing firmly that these kids need an opportunity to succeed in life, and that's all they need to, to thrive. Uh, Damien asked, who are some artists you've never collaborated with before whom you would like to work with in the future? Hmm. Wow, I, I've collaborated with so many artists and I think the one that I was, that I was still missing was, was Chris Martin. I always wanted to do something with him and, and we were able to perform together at uh, the Global Citizen performance in, um, in Hamburg. And I think that with that, I, I, I feel that my, my glasses it's full for now. <laughs> this question is from Julia. What is your pre-concert ritual? <laughs> My pre-concert ritual, you know, it's, there's so many things I do, like uh, exercising, for example, uh, stretching, preparing my muscles, um, drinking a little bit of warm tea, uh, also praying, um, and, you know, doing my own makeup and my own well, my own makeup, I think, helps me to kind of like get in the zone. <laughs> it's a moment that I'm there in front of the mirror and I'm like uh, setting my goals for the night and, 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 and starting to concentrate. Uh, but yeah, sometimes the, the hours are so short before a show that I'm always rushing and it, it's incredibly mad <laughs> backstage. Pauline would like to know what were the reactions of my kids after seeing their mom on stage for the first time. Um, well, they were very excited. They, they're very excited about the confetti, of course, and, uh, and the fireworks and, and those things. And uh, I think Sasha, the little one, was very um, impressed by the mask dance. Um, and, and Milan, since he's such a football fan, I think he was uh, very excited about Waka Waka and La 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 and those World Cup songs. Elba asked if Milan or Sasha decide to follow a music career, what advice would you give them? Um, I would advise them to, to, to do it while they enjoy it, to, to be passionate about whatever they do in life, whatever it is that they decide to do in life, they have to do it with, with joy and commitment and, and discipline too, because I think that uh, there's no way that you can achieve your goals in life, whatever they are, if you're not disciplined and determined and committed. This question is from Joanne. Is there a song so emotional that it makes you cry when you sing it? Hmm. Well, I, I remember um, feeling tears brought to my eyes uh, during my first concert of this tour. Um, it was a surreal feeling to be in front of that audience that I had dreamt about for so long, that moment that seemed so almost impossible during the previous months while, while, I, have my, while I went through my, my voice injury. I, there were times when I thought that that was not going to happen for me and that 
uh, my voice was gone. And, and so to be there in front of an audience singing again, that was it's one of the most amazing moments of my life, period. D asks, what is your workout routine to stay fit? <laughs> um, well, you know, I love to eat. That's, 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 that's a problem for someone like me because I, I really enjoy food like, to, to, to the extreme that some people just invite me to, to dinner because they like to see how I eat. Like, I completely lose my manners when, I, when I'm eating. It's, like, it's such an animal act to me. <laughs> it's, um, yeah, I have to really, really uh, put myself into the task of staying fit and that means you know exercising regularly and I decided not long ago that that sports are the best way to 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 be to, to keep fit without always killing yourself at, yourself at the gym uh, which can be boring sometimes uh, even for me so um, I discovered tennis and I, I simply fell in love with uh, playing tennis, you know, so I, I that, that was kind of like my routine. I used to play tennis every day uh, before the tour. Right now I can't, I can't do that because I, I, I can't afford, um, you know, uh, uh, <laughs> twisting an ankle or any, any of that stuff. So right now I just stay put and, and, and take it easy um, and just do some syrups and, I mean, abs and, and and some arm work and, you know, keep it light, but just watch my food and just try to always choose the healthy, the healthy stuff over the unhealthy and delicious. <laughs> this question is from Denia and she's asking me what books I like to read to my children. I just like to read to my children stuff that, where there's no drama involved, where there's no witches, <laughs> like, uh, uh, like Little Red Riding Hood or any of those stories where there's a wolf or, no, I, I like to read them stuff that is pleasant, that, have, that have puts them to sleep um, without uh, taking the risk of nightmares uh, or any of that. So I, I read to them in both English and Spanish uh, and generally stuff that initiates them into read it, reading um, and stuff that has a message.